Okay. All right. One more for today. And it's, uh, I think, unquestionably the the best team in Texas this year, uh, the TCU Horned Frogs. Uh, they win 10 games uh, and a, remar- a really remarkable year. So now I think it's I think it's going to be real easy for everyone to focus on the quarterback spot, right? Because Kenny Hill's going to going to go off to I presume the NFL draft, um, and then you're probably left with Sean Robinson. You're probably going to say, okay, well I think Sean Robinson's going to be the guy. Um, I'm going to go a different direction for my New Year's resolution, and my New Year's resolution for them is that they need to sturdy up the offensive line. They're going to lose a couple of guys up front that they're going to need to be able to to replace. And I don't care who. I think I think in a lot of respects, like we see TCU putting up these big these big numbers, and we see Kenny Hill throwing the ball a lot. But in a lot of respects, the best thing they did this year was run the ball. Like when they committed to the run, that was what really landed the knockout punch on a lot of teams. And they got uh, really fantastic years from from Darius Anderson. He had he had a fantastic he had a, uh, an excellent year for for uh, for the Frogs. And for me, that's the thing that really stood out to me is that when they run, ran the ball with Darius Anderson, uh, you know Kyle Hicks is going off is is, is leaving, but uh, uh, Shewo Al- Alanalua. Shaywo sure. Alonalua. Yeah. <laughs> like he was he was a really big red zone threat. When they ran the ball, I thought that's when they were in their their they were at their best. So let's say it's gonna be Sean Robinson. All kind of eyes pointed them. They like him. I think they knew he wasn't ready, but they like him. Yeah. I, I think they like him. Right. I think if you you're gonna need that offensive line to step up and so that whoever's back there, that takes the pressure off of them to create so that then you can feel comfortable handing the ball off to Kyle Hicks, or rather for to Darius Anderson or Shewa Alonalua, you know, 30, 40 times a game. Because if whoever steps in at quarterback, let's say it's Sean Robinson, if he steps in and you're asking him to throw the ball 40 times a game, that's probably not a good thing. That means you're probably chasing. So for me, the offensive line is, is the key for them. I, I think they need their offensive line to be... Let's say as good as it was this year. If that's the case, then they'll be then they'll be fine heading forward. But if it's not, if it takes a step back, then then things could get dicey in a hurry. Yeah, I mean, four starters gone from that unit. That's that's you. Know, that's asking a lot. They they got to get better there. Uh, and I think too. I mean, I think this is going to be a huge task uh, ahead of Gary Patterson to get mm-hmm. this team ready. They were so experienced last year. Uh, but you know, you look down at you know you, this year, obviously. Jalen Rager, not. I don't think it's fair to call him a surprise. I think they knew he was going to be great from the second he stepped on campus. But this year, every time he made a big play, it was like, oh, okay, all right, like that's. But they now next year they're going to need him. Mm-hmm. He's got to make plays for them. Um, but you look down the list. I mean, obviously four offensive linemen gone. I think you know with seeing them early in the season without Kyle Hicks, obviously I think Darius Anderson is more than capable. Uh, you know, Shea Alonalua also. I think he'll be in good shape for for them. Uh, Kennedy Snell. I think they. I, I'd be interested to see what they do with him. Yeah, I want to see how they deploy him because he was he, he stuck without a position kind of. In a lot of respects, when he because he and. I don't think they were actually a package deal, but in a lot of respects they were viewed because it came from the same high mm-hmm. school walks. Hatchie as a package deal. Rager was kind of the headliner, and Candy Snell was like, oh, well, let's see what they do with him. I think we still want to know how they deploy him, but he is he's a game-breaker, wherever he does. Yeah, and you don't have Des White either, and, mm-hmm. and so, uh, you know, and, and, and Kevontae Turpin has had constant trouble staying healthy, mm-hmm. and he kind of feels like maybe that guy, like the guy that you throw the bubble to and have the big guys block for and have him find some space. But, yeah, I mean, is he a receiver? Is he a running back? I don't think it really matters. I mean, you mm-hmm. could ask the same thing about Turpin. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's a good spot for him. But those guys have got to to show up. You don't have DRs, the big mean guy mm-hmm. that you throw it up to. You don't have him, you know, next year. You're losing Traven Howard. It sounds like uh, Ben Banigou is probably going to come back. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, you, you, you're, you're still – you know, you're, you're losing Chris Bradley in the middle. Obviously, Matt Boson, a guy who made a ton mm-hmm. of plays for them, like five sacks against yeah. – uh, who was it, Oklahoma, was it? Oklahoma, uh, one, of the, one of the teams. One of the those two. Five sacks, huge game for him. You know, he was, he was constantly disruptive. But I, I, they're just losing so yeah. much. I mean, this is going to be a let Gary Cook type of season, mm-hmm. I think, for them. And, uh, you know, Sonny Cumbie's got a lot to do as well. 
it's it, it, I, I just think you you got to lean on those guys. I think offensive line is a great place to start, mm-hmm. but the guys that uh, I think for their 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 biggest thing for for their their you know to boil down their New Year's resolution, it's the guys that. You, you got surprise plays from this year. Those guys have got to make plays every single week. Now. Yeah, they can't be surprises anymore. They have exactly. to be integral parts of, of your Sean offense. Sean Robinson's going to need help. He He's will. He's got to have it. Absolutely.